Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Season 2 trailer is finally here and I am beyond excited to watch this trailer. Uh, probably for the same reasons as you all because we have a couple of convicts on this cast and I, it's going to go down this season. Um, for those who do not know, which I don't understand how you don't know if you're a fan of the Housewives franchise, Jen Shaw and Mary Gelba? What is it, Mary Gelba? Sister Mary were both arrested. Um, I don't know if Mary's arrest will be on camera, but Jen arrest was she arrest was arrested in February maybe. Um, in the midst of filming, I think they actually were going on a cash trip and they arrested her at the airport. Um, that's based off what the um people said in the tabloids. Um. So I, I'm just beyond excited. She, uh, Jen, so if you don't know, Jen has got arrested for actually conspiring a telemarketing scheme for over eight years. And she has, I guess, collected over $2 million from people. And the bitch is going to jail. Oh, I shouldn't have said the bitch. Oh, Marcus, come on now. Well, well I mean, she's going to jail. Uh, she's, I think she will be going to jail. She will top Teresa Judice. She will top Erica Girardi. She will top Luann from New York City. She's going to be serving like at least 20 years in jail. Mary, I don't know if Mary's going to jail because Mary's arrest was kind of actually, she got arrested for um, supplying shelter for homeless people, which I don't know you can get arrested for that. Um, I, I don't know too much about her arrest. Um, I don't really see Mary facing uh, going to trial. I could see Mary probably doing community service, but I don't understand what she did that was so wrong. If she's providing shelter for the homeless, what's the problem with that? Um, so Mary probably won't be, you know, doing like 20 to life, but Jen, she's going to be doing 20 to life. I mean, the girl is a thug, all right? She is a thug in a cocktail dress. Remember Luann said that from New York City about Alex, um, but this is one, this one is true. She is a thug in a cocktail dress. <laughs> So we have a new housewife at the end. She is of Asian descent, I'm assuming. She is looking fierce. She looks like that singer, Janae Ikoko. Ikoko? Ikoko? And she's the one married to Big Sean. She looks like she looks like she could be like a sister or her mother. Um, not saying that she looks old to be her mother, but she looks like she's like, you know, well, well aged. Um, but she's fierce. She's giving me Tyra Banks smizing with the eyes. Um, oh, is that racist to say because she's of China? Well, smizing is Okay, let me not say. Alright, she's fierce looking. Alright, y'all, let's watch this trailer. I, I'm so anxious to see what's gonna happen this season, alright? Kumbaya! Kumbaya! Not Kumbaya! Can you guys tell the truth right now? Bottom line is, Meredith knows a lot of information. You just said it, you just said it, we all just said it. You wanna go here or not? Let's go there! This season on The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Go away, Dream! <laughs> Did they make it tough? That's a good question, Mary. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fraud. Do we need to add Kim Kardashian to our legal team? Girl, bye. She said, <laughs> girl, bye. You are not taking this seriously. <laughs> she said, do I have to add Kim Kardashian to the legal team? Girl, you're supposed to be taking this shit seriously. You are facing 20 years in jail, sweetie. Kim Kardashian is not going to save you. She failed her bar exam three times. Yeah, get, get Kim. Get Kim to be on your legal team. Get Kim. All right, please do. All right, you probably, with Kim, you'll probably be facing 50 years of life. All right. Jen, you cannot blame someone else for your legal issues, all right? This is like, remember when Teresa was blaming Caroline and Jacqueline for sending her to jail? This is the same storyline. You cannot be committing fraud on camera and then be surprised when the feds bust in your house and arrest your ass. You can't be surprised, Teresa. You were doing, you had all this money coming in, you know, spending all this money on the show. And then when the feds actually investigated into your bankruptcy, yes, you cannot be doing all this shit on camera and expect not to get in trouble with the law. If you are, you know, like I'm talking about Teresa Judice. You don't blame Caroline and Jen. You can't be blaming, um, is it Meredith? You know, okay, this is another side note. You know, I, have, I only watched four episodes of the first season. I never even finished the first season of Salt Lake City. They weren't really holding my attention. Um, so... I, I don't know these women's name. Um, so you can't, I think the woman who she was blaming is named Meredith and I don't like her son. Um, she has a son, he, he, from the clips I saw, he was a little bit corny. Like people are just praising him like, oh my God, he's gay and he's slaying, yes, it's yes. No, he was a plain Jane. God, uh, he's g attractive, but he is not, so anyways. Um, you can't be blaming her for your legal issues, all right? You were committing a telemarketing scheme for eight years and stole over $2.5 million. And then you go on camera first season, throwing all these parties in your big house, and then you don't, you don't expect the feds to actually be watching the show and wondering and like, where is she getting all this money from if she doesn't work? Her husband is just a, a, a basketball coach at co a college campus. Where are all this money coming from? Jen, you're going to jail. You are going to jail. I hope you're going to watch the new season of Wentworth because it comes out on Netflix at the end of the month. You know, Wentworth is the hardcore version of Orange is New Black. I wouldn't suggest for you to watch the eight seasons of Orange because Orange is like a lighthearted, like it's a comedy show about jail. Wentworth is hardcore and you might need to watch Wentworth so you could be top dog for the 20 years that you're going to be spending in jail. Just saying. I mean, girl, you, this is going to be your last season on any type of show. Well, not just like any type of show because I'm sure they're going to do a Dateline special on you like they did Erica Jane. Um, but uh, you're going to jail. <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> um, yeah, this is going to be... Oh my God. So wait, before I even talk about it. So for those who don't follow me on Instagram, I do like a lot of Instagram polls and Instagram games. So I did this one Instagram poll about maybe two, three weeks ago. And the question was... Who was most likely to serve time in jail? I put Erica Jane or Jen Shaw. Just to be fun, you know, like if you don't follow me on Instagram, you follow me on Instagram. I do these polls daily. And so when I was looking at the results the next day, <laughs> I love you, Heather, and I'm so sorry for <laughs> putting your business out there. But Heather voted Jen. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And I got like a backlash because people were like, you can't really, like, I'm being messy for sharing what Jen voted because it's supposed to be confidential, I guess, or anonymous. Um, and I don't really, I, 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 I never met Heather, but Heather and I have talked maybe twice in the past. Um, she comments on my, she DMs me, at least just, just to say how proud she is. I mean, we had conversations, but we only probably talked twice ever. Um, and so I can't say we have a friendship, but she's a nice woman. We have discussed some things about, um, the Mormon religion and the religious cult that I was involved with. I think that's what our common denominator was. But, you know, it, it, people got, uh, people are mad at me. They said I should have uh, posted what she voted. But, I mean, it was shade. <laughs> shade. And I haven't, I haven't, like, asked Heather if she was upset about it. Um, because Jen... Someone sent it to Jen Shaw. Jen Shaw sent me a DM. 
and I don't really want to get involved. Um, I did not respond to her DM. <laughs> Because that messy person who sent it to Jen, Jen literally DM'd me the next day and she wanted me to send her the actual, if this, she asked me if this was, um, photoshopped or not and I didn't respond. I'm not getting involved. But, um, I, I, I wanted to reach out to Heather but I'm like, I, I don't want to ruin the relationship that Heather and I do have, um, but, um, I just thought that was funny so I did, I did share it because I thought that was funny. Sorry Heather. I, I, I love you Heather. Alright. <laughs> isn't dumb. Jen is most likely going to serve time in jail. Erica may not, but Jen is definitely going to jail, all right, for at least 20 years, right? So that's pretty much, I mean, I mean, the what else happened in this trailer? I honestly can't really think. Oh, Mary, they said that she's uh, in a cult religion. I don't understand how she even has, she's a pastor or the first lady of a church. And she, the way that she acts, she's so dingy and so ditzy. And she married her grandfather. How does anybody want you as a first lady? So maybe it, it is a cult because I honestly cannot see a uh, uh, anybody who takes religion seriously to be going to her church and actually following her guidance and her direction. It's a little skeptical. Um, maybe if it was Heather who had a church or um, one of these other women besides Teresa Judice 2.0, maybe I can see it. But for Mary, she's so dinky and ditzy. Like, I, maybe she does run a cult. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's, I, I, I am going to watch season two. I'm going to watch every episode because I'm so interested in seeing what went down and what are ladies thinking about this Jen situation. Um, and I wonder if they are going to show Mary's arrest. Mary and her son both got arrested. Um, for, I don't understand the homeless situation. She was just providing shelter. I didn't know you can get arrested for that. Um, really bizarre. You know, I really hope that they have cameras in jail because I really want to see how Mary was acting when she was like, you know, in the holding center, you know? <laughs> like, how was she talking to the other inmates while she was, you know, there for the hours that she was there for? I would love to see that footage. So yeah, I'm definitely watching season two. I, I need to see, I need to see this shit going down and see Jen's downfall. So sad to say, because I, I, I don't really wish any downfall on anybody, but this is going to be a, such a juicy season. Um, and it will be her last season. In my opinion, she will go to jail. Um, it, like, let me know. Do you think she's going to go to jail or do you not think she's going to go to jail? What, what do you think? Let me know. All right, so The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City season two premieres September 12th at 9 8 central on Bravo. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And while you're on my page, check out my other videos and let me know if you agree or disagree with anything that I said. And down below in the description area under more Marcus, I put my Instagram and Twitter information, so go ahead and follow me guys. That way you can send me a DM for any video requests that you have for me. I can't wait to talk to you all again. Mwah! <laughs>